Hi boys and girls, welcome back. I'm Mr. Peck. Now we are in the fourth question in chapter 4, forces. Okay, let us read the question together. Figure above shows a crate A of mass 2 kg on a table connected by a string to another load B of mass 0 0.5 kg over a frictionless pulley. What is the acceleration of the system and the tension of the string when the string is released if A. The table is smooth, means it has no friction. B. The coefficient of friction of table surface is 0 0.2. Uh, this one has friction. So we do part A. Part A, he says smooth. Uh, smooth means no friction. Eh? Friction is 0. Okay, guys, remember when we do uh, forces, eh? question about forces, you must draw the free body diagram first. Draw the free body diagram first. You have two objects. So when you have two objects, A and B, you must draw two free body diagram. Two bodies, two free body diagram. Okay? And show all the forces acting on the object. So for object A, it has the weight going down. Yeah? M1G. Uh, don't just write MG. Uh. Please write M1G. Because A and B has different masses. You must uh, put this as M1. This one as M2. So this one M1G, this one M2G. Huh? Okay, A has the M1G and has the normal force going up, uh, perpendicular to surface. And it's, uh, A is being pulled by B. Being pulled by B. So A feel the tension in the string. Feel the tension to the right. Uh, it's being pulled. Yeah, pull, pull to the right. So tension to the right. Uh, and then B, uh, B, the what forces acting on B, its own weight, M2G, going down. And also, A is actually holding on B. A is holding on B. So, B feel the tension going upward. It feel the tension. Uh, the string, this string is still pulling on B. Uh, so, tension, you feel the tension going up. Uh, so, that's it. Okay, A has no friction, no, no need to draw friction. And of course, accelerate downward. Yeah, B accelerate downward. Uh, accelerate downward. So A also follow direction of B, accelerate to the right. Okay, good. Now we have finished our free body diagram. Let us uh, do some calculation. Now we have uh, two bodies. So we must separate into two bodies. MA and MB. MA is uh, mass 1, 2 kg. Mass B is uh, 0 0.5 kg. Mass 2. Now for mass 1, mass A, it only has, um, although it has two components, X and Y, uh, we only use the X component uh, because uh, we, no need, uh, we no need to use the Y component because it has no friction. Uh, friction actually is the formula for friction is uh, mu k n. Ah. We only use the y component to find the normal force. Why we want to find normal force? Uh, because one, we want to find the friction. Huh? So we only use the y component when we need to find the friction. Okay? Friction. Because friction depends on normal force. So right now, uh, no, no friction. So we no need to consider the y component. So the x component, fx equal to m1a. Uh, okay. So uh, the x component, it has the... Okay, before that, uh, sign convention is very important. Okay. So remember, we learned about this uh, sign convention. When equilibrium, total force zero, no acceleration, uh, no resultant force, we... Just say that going to the right, positive. Going to the left, negative. Going up, positive. Going down, negative. But when we have acceleration, total F equal to MA, or we can say it has resultant force, not equilibrium, then the sign uh, positive uh, is follow acceleration. Okay? Follow acceleration, positive. Opposite acceleration, negative. 
Uh, okay, follow, acceler uh, follow acceleration positive, opposite acceleration negative. So now we need to put the sign first before we do calculation. So for x component, uh, acceleration is to the right. So we can say direction to the right. Sorry, yeah. Direction to the right is positive. Direction to the left, negative. Uh, for the mass B, accelerate downward. Accelerate downward. So downward, positive. Upward, negative. Okay. Uh, so follow, follow acceleration positive. Follow acceleration positive. Opposite acceleration negative. Yeah, negative. Now look, look at the mass 2. Uh, mass 2. Uh, no, mass 1. Uh, 2 kilogram. So for S component, we have the tension. Tension is follow acceleration. So positive. Uh, so we just put uh, positive tension. Okay. Uh, what else? Do we have other forces? No, we only have tension. So mass, two, mass 1 is 2 kilograms. Just put 2. Uh, 2A. Okay. Uh, right now, we cannot find tension or acceleration. So we need helps. Uh, we need the mass B. So mass B, it has uh, in Y component. Uh, y component. Uh, this is uh, Y component. Mass B, we have uh, uh, M2G is positive because follow acceleration. Tension is negative because opposite acceleration. So we just put a mass 2G is positive because follow acceleration. So mass 2G positive. And then negative is the tension because opposite acceleration. So uh, negative tension equal to uh, M2A. So put in the values. Uh, 0 0.5 G minus tension equals to 0 0.5 A. Uh, okay. Now, this one, this equation can substitute into the tension here. So, we have uh, 0 0.5 G minus 2 A. Yeah. This one is from the mass one. Uh, equal to 0 0.5 A. So, what do we get? Okay, so what do we get? We get uh, acceleration equal to 1.962 meter per second square. Ah, we got our acceleration. Now we can find tension. We substitute here. We substitute back over here. Uh, 1.962 and we got our tension. Our tension is uh, our tension is 3.924 Newton. Okay, that's our tension. Good. Now we got we solved the question A. Now B. Uh, now the the table surface has friction. Zero point. Uh, this is coefficient only. Yeah. Uh, be careful. This is coefficient, which is the mu only mu k uh, not the friction itself but only the coefficient so draw the free wire diagram now it's rough eh? the surface is rough it has the coefficient 0 0.2 coefficient has no unit okay so just add another friction here friction is going to the left because the motion is to the right uh, this object moved to the right, so friction is opposite direction to the left. Okay. Now we have friction. Okay, we have friction. That means uh, now we need to find. Okay, let's write down the friction here. We have the mu. Uh, okay, friction. How to find friction? Friction is mu k, and that's the formula. And um, uh, we need to find. Now we have friction, so we need to find the normal force. To find normal force, we need to consider y component already. Uh, we need to consider the y component which has the normal force. We want to get friction, we must find the normal force. So that's why for uh, mass, mass A, we, we have x and y now. We, we have the y, we need to find the y. Okay? Okay, let, now let's write uh, write down the sign convention. 
uh, like the y component it is no acceleration yeah y component fy0 no acceleration so just uh, going up positive going down negative okay just put that down yeah going up positive going down negative uh, but for x component for x component uh, uh, follow acceleration uh, it has uh, acceleration to the right uh, acceleration to the right so follow acceleration is positive uh, opposite acceleration negative uh, same thing for the mass b follow acceleration downward is uh, positive uh, opposite acceleration is negative okay okay now set let's find out the normal force first yeah normal force uh, we consider the y component so y component going up uh, positive so this is a uh, normal normal okay uh, then minus the m1g equal to zero uh, so we got the normal force it is m1g so what is m1 m1 is 2 uh, times g so 9.81 we got the answer as um, uh, uh, we got the normal force okay we just put it as a uh, 2g first okay uh, all right so now we can we got the normal force we can find the friction so friction uh, mu k so we have a uh, 0 0.2 uh, times the 2g okay so we can get the friction which is equal to uh 3.924 newton yes we got the friction all right now we got the friction we can find the x component so follow acceleration positive so tension is positive tension positive and then friction we have friction to the left uh, friction opposite acceleration so it's negative so minus friction so mass one is two okay so um, friction we got just now 3.924 just put inside 3.924 equal to 2a all right and then oh we need to find tension at acceleration so we can't solve this yet we need to move on to mass b uh, move on to mass b uh, we have uh, uh, for the we need to check the y component okay fy equal to uh, m2a so the y component we have mass uh, we have the mg and tension mg is positive because follow acceleration okay uh, so uh, mass sorry yeah mass 2 uh, this is positive because it follow acceleration tension is negative because opposite acceleration uh, negative tension equal to m2 a so uh, just put in the value mass 2 is 0 0.5 and then uh, minus tension 0 0.5 a okay now we have two equations here we have equations 1 and equations 2 so we can solve by simultaneous so 1 plus 2 uh, then what do you get uh, yeah so the tension can be uh, cut off yeah tension and negative tension cut off so uh, we solve it uh, we get uh, 0 0.981 equal to 2.5 a and then we have uh what else we have ah uh, yeah we find the acceleration equal to 0 0.9392 uh, meter per second square yeah uh, we got our accelerations next is we find the tension okay our tension uh just put in the values here this acceleration just put in here uh, we got our Tension. So tension minus 3.924 equal to 2a, 0 0.392. So we get our tension. Um, what's the tension we get? Uh, 4.71 
newton okay uh, that's our tension and acceleration for part b isn't it it's so easy yeah so i hope you enjoy the videos don't forget to like and subscribe and wait for my next video bye